Flightstream has several methods for generating a clean mesh from an STL geometry. In this example, I'll show you three methods for creating a native Flightstream CCS file given an STL. First, let's import the STL file. Right-click on Mesh in the simulation tree to import. Here we see a wing that I have previously exported from a CAD software. To generate cross-section curves from this STL, I'll create a new CAD model in the simulation tree, then right-click Create. In this first method, I will use the Select Edges by Path tool to select the mesh edges at the wing root airfoil. Click this button to turn the selected mesh edges into a CAD composite curve. I'll repeat this process for the wingtip airfoil. Ensure that the generated cross sections have the expected winding direction. Now select the cross sections from root to tip and click this button to export them in CCS format. In the second method, we will use the planar slice button to create cross sections from the mesh boundaries. Click this button to open the tool. Specify the coordinate system to use, the plane axis in that system, and the normal offset. These options will slice the mesh boundary at the desired location. First, I'll slice near the global symmetry plane to create a root cross section. To find the tip offset distance, I'll select a node near the wing tip and use the inspect tool to view the Y location. I'll use this location to create a wing tip cross section. Again, these cross sections can be selected and then exported into a CCS file. The third method is helpful if you need to create many cross sections to capture the curvature of your STL geometry. Here we will use the Auto Generate Cross Sections button in the CAD tools. Select the reference coordinate system, the normal direction to use for slicing, the geometry to slice, and the growth scheme to use. The growth scheme allows you to cluster cross sections near the root or tip of the geometry given a growth rate. Once created, select the cross sections from root to tip and copy export to a CCS file. Here is a sample CCS file. Using any of the three methods, I can copy paste the cross section coordinates and then import this into Flightstream. We can see the CCS file captures our STL geometry, but improves on the mesh distribution, as well as gives us additional functionality in the CCS file format. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Or you can also contact us directly at researchinflight.com.